So topic 17, we're going to be focusing on applications involving exponential functions, exponential growth and decay. And in video one, we're going to look at finding the inverse of a model that contains within it an exponential expression. And in particular, the model we're going to be looking at is what's called a logistic model, something that you would learn about in calculus, usually end of the first semester calculus or in a course on differential equations. So this model says that the height in feet of a certain tree species after t years of growth, so we have height in feet after t years of growing is modeled by height equals 50 over the expression 1 plus 47.5e to the negative 0.22t. So here's an exponential expression sitting in this logistic model. This is a logistic model. And we're asked to find the inverse of the height model and use the inverse to estimate the length of time. So we want to estimate time. It takes the tree of that species to achieve a height of 30 feet. So if we're being asked to find the inverse of a model, we're being asked to solve for t. And of course, what makes this difficult is that two things. One, the variable t that we need to solve for to find the inverse function is buried in the exponent position on an exponential expression and it's in the denominator of a ratio so we've got to deal with both of those both of those issues ultimately so we'll start by rewriting the function and we'll write it without the function notation to make things a little bit easier for us so we have height equals and we're going to have 1 plus 47.5e to the negative 0.22 t sitting in the denominator and a 50 sitting in the numerator position. So first step is to dig this expression out of the denominator. We want to multiply both sides by this expression in the denominator so that it cancels and gives us a 1. So multiplying both sides of the equation by this will cancel this from the right hand side but we'll have a copy of it on the left hand side. So we'll have height times 1 plus 47.5e to the negative 0.22t sitting on the left hand side and we'll have just a 50 sitting over here. Now to get t out of the exponent position we're going to need to isolate the base e so that we can apply the inverse function exponential base e has an inverse natural log of x but we have to isolate base e exponential expression first so i'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by h to get that h off of this set of parentheses h divided by h is one one times the stuff in parentheses is just the stuff in parentheses so we get one plus 47.5 e to the negative 0.22 t equaling 50 over the h. Then I'm going to go ahead, my next step in isolating e, I'm going to subtract this one from both sides. So that's going to give me 50 over h, take away one, and it's going to leave me with the 47.5 e to the negative 0.22 t on the left hand side. And then I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 1 over the 47.5, which is the same as dividing by 1 over the 47.5, 1 over 47.5. So that's going to leave me with an e to the negative 0.22t sitting here on the left hand side. So we finally isolated that base e exponential. I'm going to go ahead and use the commutative property of multiplication to put this 1 over 47.5 in the front because it makes me happy if it's there times 50 over h minus I'm going to get a common denominator so I can combine these two terms. So instead of one, I'm going to write h over h. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, put each side into the natural logarithm. So I'm gonna take the natural log of e to negative 0.22t 
equals the natural log of the stuff here and inside here I'm going to have a I'm going to have a 50 minus H in the numerator position over I have a common denominator common denominator of H and I can distribute this one over 47.5 n so I'm going to wind up with this ratio 47.5 H and I'm going to walk up to the top of the page. Natural log or log base E cancels exponential base E, leaving us with the stuff in the exponent position. So negative 0.22t equals the natural log of 50 minus h all over 47.5 And then there's a couple ways we can deal with this. We just need to get the t by itself. So one way to do it is just to be inelegant and divide both sides by negative 0.22. That's, that, that does it. That would cancel. We'd get uh, this divided by itself as 1. 1 times t is t would be sitting here. So that works. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So let's see, this was negative 0.22t. So what we can recognize is, is that 0.22, I'm not going to worry about the negative right now, is the same as, this is a tenths hundredths place, this is the same as 22 one hundredths, which reduces, 2 goes into both these numbers evenly, reduces to 11 over 50. So I can replace this negative 0 0.22 with negative 11 over 50. And then to get the t by itself, I can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction. So multiply by negative 50 over 11 times negative 50 over 11 on both sides. When you multiply by a reciprocal, you get 1. So we get t equals Multiplication's commutative. I'm going to go ahead and bring the negative 50 over 11 into the front position times the natural log of 50 minus h all over 47.5 times h. So here's our inverse function. The inverse function sitting right here. And now we can use the fu inverse function to estimate the length of time it will take for a tree to grow to 30 feet by plugging the 30 feet into the inverse function. So I want to recognize that time now is a function of height. So I can evaluate my time function when the tree is at a height of 30 feet. Negative 50 over 11 times the natural log of 50 minus h, but now h will be 30, all over 47.5 times h and h has to be replaced with a 30. And now I can take this and pop it into a calculator. Maybe I can clean up just a hair, negative 50 over 11 times the natural log of 50 minus 30 is 20 over, uh, what's it going to be, 475, three times, right, 475. 475, whoa, 475 times 3, 1425. I should have worked that one out ahead of time. And I'm not going to worry about reducing that fraction because now we'll just take this and pop it into the calculator and get an approximation. So T is approximately, we're going to keep all that mess and slide this off to the side. We'll just throw our stuff into the calculator here. So we get t is approximately, we have negative 50 divided by 11 times the natural log, so use the natural log key of 20 divided by 1425, close the parentheses and hit enter, uh oh, go to Oh, I got a double parenthesis. We need to delete one of those right there. And now hit enter. Uh, about 19 years. So 
probably don't need fractions of a year. We'll just estimate it at 19 years and call it good. So t is about 19 years. And be sure to put the units on it.